Today, I'm going to talk about two different sections. I'm going to start off first with genetic data and tools and GDV. And so, like Dory mentioned, we curate the data from publications. And most of the genetic data we curate is molecular maps, genetic map, molecular markers, genetic maps, and QTL data. Um, occasionally, people will share their information with this from their publications which makes it easier for us because usually it's already in Excel and we can easily adapt it to our form to our uh, upload uh, templates. The data is searchable through a variety of searches. Um, I'm not going to cover all of them. Dory highlighted some of the, all of them, but I'm going to do a case use kind of thing. So we're only going to use some of the searches. And like Dory mentioned, we developed this map viewer tool as a replacement for CMAP and it's a much cooler tool than CMAP in my opinion. So so how let's do an example of how you would use GDV. So for this question we're going to answer today is we want to know if there are any QTL for fruit weight in cranberry and what the associated marker or markers are. So in order to answer this I'm gonna we're gonna do we're gonna search for the QTL on GDV. We're gonna view the QTL on the map and we're going to retrieve the information about the associated markers. So if you go to the search, the toolbar tool menu or the toolbar menu and use the search menu, search menu and select QTL search, it opens up the QTL search page. Um, so you can search by species, you can search by trait name, you can search by published symbol, the QTL name that was actually in a paper, if you know what that is. And then you can search by the QTL MTL label. And this is a label that GDV curates. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So in this case, we want to look at cranberry. So we're going to select cranberry and we're going to enter fruit weight and then hit the search bar or search button. And we get a table of 41 results. Um, I just want to point out that the QTL, lab, QTL labels, we do have, we do use standard abbreviations for the same traits. So a lot of times papers will give a different abbreviation um, for the, um, the trait. Um, so like for the, this paper, they used MW, MFW for the fruit weight thing. So we enter what the, the paper calls the QTL, but we also standardize the QTL names in GDV so you can do cross search for the same trait across the database a little easier. Um, anything that's a green in green is a hyperlink that takes you to more information. So in this case, it'd take you to more information about the species. It will take you to the map and it will take you to the QTL um, details page. I also want to point out that up at the top, there is an option to download this results table and it downloads it in a format that can be open in Excel. So you can sort, highlight and take this data and do what you want in Excel very easily. So we're going to look at this third QTL here. And when you click on that hyperlink, it opens up the QTL feature page. And you'll see here we have the QTL overview, which just has general information, tells you what study it's from, uh, gives you the LOD and R squared back, uh, numbers, gives you the co-localizing marker. And again, anything that's green is a hyperlink to more information. Over on the side here, we also have some links that will change what the view is here. So if we click on map positions, it shows us um, all the map positions for this QTL. And if we click on the map name, it'll actually take us to the map to view it. So this is where I'm gonna talk about Map Viewer. And Map Viewer is a dynamic tool to view genetic maps. And it allows users to customize what, they're, what they see, which markers are available, what color those markers are. There is an option to export figures if you wanna put them in presentations or um, publications. There is a little camera icon when that is available. So if I were to click this camera icon, it would export this whole area here as a figure. And you access Map Viewer either through the Map Overview pages, which is what this is, or you through the Tools menu. There's a link for Map Viewer. And so in this example, the QTL we were looking for is on LG6. 
So you'll see here in this just overview cartoon, the bands represent markers, the little squares off to the side represent QTLs. So if we click on this LG6, it opens us opens up a more detailed view of that linkage group. And you'll see over here on the left, we have a general view of it that has some of the markers and the QTLs. And then over on the right is a more zoomed in detailed view. And actually you can, as a user can control what is viewed over here. You can change the size of the box, you can move the box. And when you hover over the marker and QTL names, you get more information. And when you click on the marker or QTL names, it takes you back to the feature details page for those items. So in here we can see, the, here's our QTL we were looking at, here's the associated marker. All right, um, some map viewer options. So below that diagram of the linkage group, you have some options. Uh, the first one is to change which map you're viewing or which linkage group within that map you're viewing. So you just choose your options and hit submit. Or if you want to change the, the display settings, so change which marker, what colors the markers are, or change which markers are visible, you can do that through this section. And we also have a show comparison map option. So when you check this box, it will show you a list of maps that have corresponding markers. And it actually tells you the number of markers in parentheses. So on this map in total, there's six corresponding markers and it turns out they're all linkage group five. And when you check that box, you then have the options to view a correspondence matrix or a dot plot for that compare comparison as well. And there is an option to export those as figures. So um, let's look at the comparison map and what that would look back like. So once I check this box, a second, the second map appears on the side here. And just as before, you can control the view on each map independently. And the corresponding markers have a blue line between them. So once we adjust the view here, we see the QTL we are looking for. And oh, look, there's also the corresponding marker on this other linkage group. Um, so we've done that. So let's go ahead and look at the marker that is um, associated with this QTL. So we can click on this marker name and it's gonna take us to the marker uh, details page. And you'll see it has the primers, it has the repeat mode motif, it has the marker type and the length and also links to the publication where this marker was curated from. Um, and on the left here we have options and one of them is map positions. So it's going to show you all the maps that have this marker and again anything with a green hyperlink you it'll take you to the map. So in this case if you click over on the map name it takes you to the map details page. If you want to view that map you click the view button under the map viewer column. And um, also another thing, since this is a relational database, all of our features have relationships. So if you click that, you can see all the data that is associated with this marker. And so we see that QTL right here is associated with this marker. All right, um, before I move on to genomics, I wanna talk about mega search. So this is another way to search GDV. And this is also accessed through the search menu. And it's similar to other searches, but it does allow some more options to customize your search and to customize the output format. So first off, you have to select your data type. In this example, we selected QTL. And then you can choose your organism. You can choose your trait category, the published symbol, the population. Um, if you scroll down, you also can search by genetic location. So you can specify a certain linkage group in a map with coordinates. You can search for specific co-localizing markers or neighboring markers, and even by statistics and publication. And then once you have your search um, figured out, you can select which fields are present in your, your results file. So you can have all the fields or you can uncheck all of them and only check the ones you want. And you can either just view it on the web or export it as a comma separated value file or a tab separated value file. All right, so 
I have shown you with using our example here that we do have a QTL for fruit weight and cranberry. There's several of them, but we just looked at one in detail. All right. So do we have any quick questions for this section, Dory?